second person that told me about gender equality was a person who was very important in the political scene. And I want to thank many of you that are here representing the government, because it was the late Malim Julius Nyerere who, in a meeting of university students, where there were so few of us who were women, stood up and called us on the stage and say to all the men and women who were there in that forum that unless we as the continent of Africa work together and have men and women in leadership positions and have men and women in decision making, we are not going to make it. And he said to those of us who were women in that particular place, never give up. Never give up being together with the men in leadership. That's another important that is really important about gender equality. Leading together, deciding together, taking responsibility together. And I think that a politician like the late Julius Nyerere knew something about what it means to be gender equality. So when we get back to our countries, wherever we are, we should not be seeing this as something that is threatening. I lastly want to say that the way gender inequality actually um, realizing its, itself within the reproductive health sometimes is uh, in the area of lack of accessibility for women, for the things that they really desire in order to be good persons, to be whole persons in the area of the reproductions. Many of them have been mentioned. The next area is in the area of gender-based violence, which when women are not seen as equal, then the gender-based violence becomes an issue. And that's another way that we realize. And gender-based violence is also um, uh, one of the indicators of bad reproductive health. And the third area that I think I wanted to mention is in financing those things that are important, women's health and women's reproductive health. Uh, this is really important as well. And when we talk together as nations and as states, member states, etc., we really have to know that financing for the sexual reproductive health, and especially for the health of women, for maternal health, for the health of the things that we've talked about, things that would be able to protect women from early marriages, for education of women, etc., is part of that gender equality. It goes to that extent. Yesterday, um, we were part of a group that launched a, a, a fund to support civil society organizing to be able to bring gender equality. This is really a very important thing. I wanted to conclude by saying organizing of communities, men and women, to get the rights um, for both men and women on, only makes us better. So gender equality, reproductive health, development, and all of this have got everything to do with what it means for us to be human together. And what else could you ask for than be human together, men and women? Thank you. Thank you.